Imagine this, a huge, 8 megaton asteroid is hurtling towards Earth at 3 miles per second, 10,800 miles per hour. The US president holds a press conference telling the public to keep calm and carry on. But it doesn't take long for social unrest to boil over among a scared public. Soon enough there is rioting and looting in the streets. Where did it all go wrong? And how did we get here? Well fortunately it doesn't have to be this way. The good people at NASA are working on a solution. It is called the Double Asteroid Redirection Test or simply DART for short. In short, it is a test for a method of planetary defense against near-Earth objects such as asteroids which have and still can pose a significant threat to all life on Earth. Here's a quick demonstration of how this looks like. The double asteroid Didymos, which is not a threat to Earth, is the target object for a spacecraft developed on Earth. This spacecraft will deliberately crash into the small minor planet moon of Didymos called Dimorphos. This should change the orbit and trajectory of Dimorphos, thus proving NASA's ability to deflect asteroids. But why did NASA choose this this particular double asteroid? Well the good folks at NASA are observing planetary objects all the time. And in 1996, they discovered Didymos at the Kitt Peak National Observatory. And its mini moon Dimorphos was confirmed from radar images taken from the Arecibo Observatory in Puerto Rico. And as a bonus, this double asteroid is fairly close. 0.048 to 3 astronomical units away from Earth. A good distance range for observations. Here are some artist representations of the double asteroid system. Didymos. The moonlet Dimorphos rotates around the larger Didymos once every 11.9 hours. All the while the two bodies maintain a distance of approximately 0.62 miles or, 1 kilometer, away from each other. Didymos, the larger body is shaped a little bit like a spinning top and is about 2,600 feet in diameter. And while scientists are not completely certain about the texture and composition of its surface, they suspect that it is full of boulders craters, and is covered by a loose layer of dusty material much like the Earth's moon. The smaller asteroid Dimorphos, is about 525 feet in diameter. And scientists suspect that it is has a similar composition to Didymos. And while scientists can't absolutely guess the weight of these bodies without more information about their composition, many estimate that Dimorphos is 5 billion kilograms, while Didymos is 59 billion kilograms. For your reference, here is a size comparison chart for both Dimorphos, Didymos, the DART spacecraft and some well-known landmarks. Now, let's talk about the DART spacecraft itself. The DART spacecraft is a simple spacecraft weighing approximately 610 kilograms. It features a number of typical navigation, propulsion and communication tools like the two rollout solar arrays, or ROSES for short. A next high on thruster engine powered by the 3.5 kilowatts generated by the solar arrays. A new kind of high gain communication antenna called the spiral radio line slot array of RLSA. And a number of support batteries and thrusters. However, the real workhorse of the spacecraft has to be the smart nav system and all its supporting sensors, including five sun sensors, one star tracker, and a 20 centimeter aperture camera called Draco all of which allow the DART spacecraft to maneuver and ultimately crash into the target asteroid. And as if all that wasn't impressive enough, the DART craft also contains a smaller cube satellite which will be released before impact for the sole purpose of taking pictures of the impact event and sending the images back to Earth. The entire DART mission is costing NASA around $330 million, and is NASA's first mission dedicated to the purpose of planetary defense. The Johns Hopkins Applied Physics Laboratory built DART and the space company Redwire contributed to the craft's navigation systems and its solar arrays. The spacecraft was launched aboard a SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket back on November 24, 2021 from Vandenberg Space Force Base in California. During the following nine months, NASA operators made various course and instrument adjustments and now we're in the final stretch. Here's a quick rundown of the final 15 days of the DART spacecraft's journey. 15 days prior to impact, the Leechaw Cube nano satellite contained with the DART spacecraft, separates and maneuvers to avoid direct collision with asteroid. Four hours prior to impact, the spacecraft's smart nav system kicks in and DART beings autonomous navigation. 
One hour prior to impact, the onboard Draco camera detects the mini-asteroid Dimorphos. Four minutes prior to impact, the DART spacecraft starts its last course correction. Two minutes prior to impact, the DART spacecraft ends its last course correction. Zero minutes, the DART spacecraft makes impact. Three minutes after impact, the Leechha Cube nano satellite makes a flyby to send detailed pictures. Now, let's talk about the impact itself, and what results we can expect. Even though the DART spacecraft will be hitting Dimorphos at a speed of 15,000 miles per hour, it won't be like billiard balls where one object significantly changes the speed, momentum, and trajectory of the other object. Instead the results of the impact will be far, far, far more subtle. In fact NASA estimates that the impact will only change the velocity, i.e. slow it down, by 0.4 millimeters per second. This small change in speed will ultimately lead to a small change in the trajectory of the asteroid. Yet, over time this will lead to a rather large shift in the asteroid's path. Here's an illustration of how that might look like. Before impact with the satellite, the trajectory of the Dimorphos asteroid is represented by the blue vector line. After impact with the DART spacecraft, the asteroid's trajectory is represented by the green vector, NASA predicts that post-impact the asteroid orbital period will decrease 10 minutes from 11.92 hours to 11.82 hours. Honestly it is a well-designed experiment demonstrating our ability to deflect potentially dangerous near-Earth objects like asteroids. And it couldn't come soon enough. Cause if we're not ready when the big one comes. Well, need I say more? Thanks for watching another episode of Brain on Fire. If you like our content please feel free to like and subscribe. Additionally, signing up for our newsletter is always a good decision if you want to stay up to date on the latest science, tech and space tech news. In fact, if you sign up right now you will receive a link where you can watch the DART spacecraft impact per NASA broadcast. Until next time. Keep star watching.